What's going on guys? I'm Zach from the Lumios Post where we talk about all things Pokemon and today we are going to be talking about Pokemon Gold and Silver and all the things that were really bad about those games. Now hear me out, Pokemon Gold and Silver were amazing games. Uh, honestly, I've yet to play a Pokemon game I just openly disliked but Every game has flaws, every single one of them. We previously covered the flaws in Pokemon Red and Blue, which you can check that video out if you'd like. Uh, now we're going to be covering Gold and Silver. Without further ado, let's jump in. Okay, so this is actually an issue that I brought up in the first video on Red and Blue, and it is still present here in Gold and Silver, and that is the Gym Leaders. The Gym Leaders are just bumps in the road gym leaders have nothing special about them they are just these special designs with special music that plays and you know honestly them specializing in a specific type isn't really special because kind of every trainer does that you know bird keepers use birds and fishermen use fish you know so they're using water types flying types bug catchers using bug types so gym leaders really aren't that special. They just have a special design and some music and they give you a, a little pen when you win. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, that's really what a badge is. But all I'm saying here is that they don't have much life to their characters. They, you know, I feel like in later games they do, but this just wasn't present in the older games. And th there are some exceptions in gold and silver certainly uh in comparison to red and blue like for example we get some things like whitney uh crying when you get the badge from her or when you beat her and you kind of have to like calm her down before she gives you the badge claire like outright refuses to give you a badge and runs off to like powder something and jasmine takes care of this Ampharos in the lighthouse so they're given a little more love than Johto but to be honest or Kanto sorry but to be honest that's kind of just it with these it's, it's just those three gym leaders and to be honest that isn't that much now moving on to the next point there's not a great batch of Pokemon in Johto new Pokemon that is there, there's not now Hear me out. Some of my favorite Pokemon actually do come from Johto. I adore Heracross. I adore Donphan. I love Gligar. I love Dunsparce. So many. But what I'm saying here is that you have a, a bunch of new Pokemon. There were 199 if you take away Celebi because that was a mythical scene. So that's not really in the game. But of those... Many of them were new evolutions to the Kanto Pokemon, things like Scizor, Slowking, Politoed. And then some were pre-evolutions, things like Pichu, Elekid, Igglybuff. And then you had a bunch of ones that were kind of just weird to use. You know, they're not really something you're that many people are wanting to use in a playthrough because they play very differently. Things like Wobbuffet unknown smeargle and then you have just kind of more bland designs that i think were improved upon later but or bland pokemon i should say not necessarily the designs but things like stantler or yanma where without weird ear or yan mega they're not really much you know I, I i love these pokemon and all but it just wasn't a lot of fun i i didn't really like that that there was so little to choose from there just my opinion i'm sure many people will disagree but overall i just don't think that johto had a great batch of new pokemon moving in to the third point it is still focused on the new pokemon aspect of it and that is that they locked some of these pokemon to the post game so you mean to tell me you're giving me a hundred new pokemon of those a hundred a decent portion of them are just pre-evolutions to older Pokemon. Elekid, Tyrogue, Pichu, etc. Then some of them are evolutions to older Pokemon. Again, Scizor, Slowking, Politoed, things like that. 
some of them are bland designs or bland i keep saying designs but i mean like you know they either are a bland design or they're just kind of not really fun to use in a playthrough unknown wabafet smeargle and then of the ones that are really cool they locked some into the post game slugma isn't available until cycling road in kanto so well after you've beaten the main story of Jota, you know where it's the first league you know you can still use it in your kanto playthrough but kind of everything's over leveled usually people aren't picking up new members at that point and then larvitar is locked to mount silver you can't get larvitar until you're on your way to challenge red that is tyranitar is one of the coolest designs in the history of the franchise and you have locked it to the very 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 end of the game like and kind of a thing that some people don't even consider the game they consider it post game the red stuff so it you know it's just it's very disappointing to see them do that i i wish that these pokemon had been made available i mean larvitar could have fit right in at victory road slugma could have fit right in in one of the caves or something but that's not the route they took and just kind of bums me out that they did that now again i want to preface this gold and silver were great games i love pokemon gold and silver but once again no game is perfect and gold and silver is no exception and these are some pretty glaring flaws in my opinion in fact i would actually rate this one lower than red and blue because of these flaws i just you know i can't get over how uh small and mm, unimpressive for a lack of a better way to put it the batch of new pokemon were and then locking some of them into the post game or later in the story but yeah that's my thoughts let me know in the comments down below why i'm wrong for all this also let me know what you think some of gold and silver's greatest flaws were all that fun stuff also be sure to like subscribe hit the bell for notifications talk about all things pokemon on this channel and of course we are working through these games and talking about their greatest glaring flaws and issues all that fun stuff so be sure to like subscribe hit the bell so you don't miss those videos until next time i will see all of you later